everyone and welcome back to a special episode of the it's not even an episode, James. What are you doing? We are going to be taking a look at two clips that have just came out uh, for the new upcoming season of Camp Cretaceous. I think that is season four, I think. I think it's four, um, which should be debuting on the 3rd of December. And of course, we'll be doing a watch party when it goes on and all that jazz. But at the moment, uh, we're going to be uh, watching these or reacting to these two clips. And there's also two screenshots as well. So this is going to be quite interesting. Um, th before I bring up the screenshots, I will say spoilers. So you don't, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to, but I will warn you. Um, but these clips as well, I guess they're spoilery because, I mean, it's part of the show. Now, if you remember season three, they did something similar to this as well. So without further ado, how do the kids... Because remember, last time we saw them, they were leaving the island. It was that was it. They they did it. They managed to get away, or did they? Let's find out. Yep. So that's the mosasaur. Oh, there's a shark behind them. What is that? It looked like there was a shark behind them, on the radar. Oh no, never mind. It's uh, I can't even remember the names of the characters, man. I I, I know Franklin. I think I think it was Franklin one. It what's he? Is the is the boat still moving? What? Go Kenji, go. Can he not swim? Oh, yeah, maybe he can't swim. So, oh my God, he's miles away. He's dead, man. Leave him. Oh no, you're gonna die, Kenji. Well, we always said he wasn't the smartest bulb in the uh, in the closet. I think. Oh my God, if they ride the most so. Right, okay, you mustn't be able to swim, right? I got you. Well, they, 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 they've done a good job with the water. Oh, now, oh, it's even further away now. Wasn't it closer before? Wait, what? Never mind, he was stuck from some. They're in open ocean, they're in open water. Where did the seaweed come from? Ah, who cares, man? <laughs> I like how Kenji's still sporting the, the shadow. Oh, he's probably ruined his watch. This Mosasaur's blooming slow, like. Well, why didn't you just turn the boat around? Okay, okay. Wait for it. Saved me. Of course, I saved you. We got each other's backs for life, Junior. Didn't they have a falling out at the end? I thought these two did. Let's go before I have to save you again. <laughs> ah! Oh, come on. The Mosasaur would... S oh, God. It's gotten smaller. Wait, why did it get so small? The Mosasaur could have just, like, completely destroyed that boat in one hit. Oh, it's coming back the same way it was before. I mean, it looks good. It really does. Fits in. Really well stand. Oh, oh! Love the water too. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, it's gonna die! Oh! Oh, so this is how it destroys the boat then. I thought that... This Mosasaur looks a lot smaller. Is it a different Mosasaur? It won't be. Can't be. Oh, this, this is it. This is how they die. This is the last episode. They die like this. Could you imagine? Oh, it made a noise. Oh, it's just going to die like Jaws. Oh, could you imagine? Oh, look. An island. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't show up on the radar, but hey. Or maybe it would. I don't know. Oh, it's brilliant. Kenji, no! Can you imagine if they killed off a main character? Could you imagine? Come on, come on, come on! So is... Did they say that it wasn't Isa Sauna? Oh, this is it. It's gonna fall on the boat. Body. Mosasaurus used body slam. Everybody is paralyzed. That's it. 
Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, December 3rd. Yeah, okay. Um, I know right off the bat people are gonna... Hold on, I want to see what he looked like on the radar. So there's a dot, and then it, that's a shark. 100% that's a shark. And there's a mosasaur. So maybe that's our character. That's a shark, and that's a mosasaur. So possibly there was already a shark in the water beforehand? I assume that the boat got stuck, it got some, like, seaweed trapped in it, and then he got the seaweed wrapped around it. But... I think the thing that everyone's gonna cling on to here is that none of the characters die. Now, me personally, I, I, I really don't have a problem with it. I, it's a cartoon for kids. If this was, you know, like Dominion or something like that, then yes, I think I would be way more critical of it. Um, but because this is a, it's a show made for kids, uh, it's all about, I don't know, Camp Cretaceous has this very uh, like fireside comfort kind of feel to it. It's, it's like one of these shows that a kid can watch. Oh, wait, the characters will be in a little bit of danger, but then they get out of it. I'm not, I'm not here, I'm not sad here expecting one of the main characters to be cut in half and everyone to have like, like this moment of like everything shattered and it's, it's not gonna happen. And that's not what I'm expecting, but I always see it in the comments of uh, Camp Cretaceous videos of people who just expect it. It's a kid's a kid's program for God's sake. I, mean, I don't have a single problem with it I think the people who do probably need to just uh, Levy their expectations a little bit more to what it actually is But this a little clip of this like the water effects are so good. They've I mean water Isn't an easy thing to render or especially work physics wise But they've got characters in the water and they you know the mosasaurs there This is I think this is really good but how about we move on to the second clip, which is the most recent one that I have no idea of what happens in it. Let's go. All right, here we are. Yeah, you're there. Ugh, it's too quiet. We're hot, thirsty, in the middle of nowhere, and maybe surrounded by who knows what. Right, so this is the island that they, they've landed on yeah, now. Because at least we can do something about it. Wooka wooka day! Did I miss the joke? Or is it just making noises? So this must be like right after the Mosasaur. What is that? Oh. This is when the jumping the shark moment comes. Look at that robot. Robot dog tracks. And I think I saw another image. I'm not going to say, but I th oh my god, this is going to be a crazy season. I can't wait to see what they do with it. Kenji, you okay? Sky solid. <sighs> oh, wow, that was lucky. Unless there, there's millions of doors. How'd they manage that? <laughs> Plot convenience. Ah, okay, okay. So, as far as we know, the the characters... That, I mean, of course, how do we get here? Most sort of attacks it, yada, yada, yada. And now, they end up on the island, and there seems to be a deserty. It seems to be a desert, right? So is it an island? I think it is. Um, because we'll we'll go into more in, in a bit about you know, different biomes and stuff like that. Um and then oh, I don't know there was a trailer. I feel like there was a trailer for uh Camp Cretaceous that I never uh, reacted to, so maybe we'll do that as well. So this was another clip. Okay, let me get the trailer and let's react to that. Okay, okay, so here it is. This is the trailer. Let's react to it. I should probably should have done this one first before doing those, but ah, out of order, who cares? Look Let's go. Us. We finally made it off the island. Go us. <laughs> I like how their their food was just some berries what and tomatoes or whatever. That? Okay, so we saw we've seen this. Okay. So they end up on the island. This doesn't look like Costa Rica. Yeah, saw this bit. What the heck is this place? It's Manticore! I mean, to find out. 
And then, and then this. Oh, hold on. I'll just react to it all before we break it down. Where are they taking her? And here I thought Nublar was the trippiest place I ever seen. What is that? A saber toothed tiger. Because why not? Spider Fan boys are gonna rejoice. Something tells me we shouldn't go in there. Which means we're obviously going in there. Come on. So, December 3rd. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, right. So, let's break this down. So, they leave the island. Mosasaur destroys them, destroys the boat. They end up on another island. This one, I mean, we saw at the start it was Manticorp, and this, this is probably how this is tying into it. Um,. So they end up on a desert part of this island. And it seems like... Well, maybe they start here. Yeah, it looks like they, they wash up in a stormy on a stormy night or something. Then somehow they come across this bit. Um, that tree looks terrible, by the way. Oh my <laughs> god. But it's a bit like... Um, oh, what was that show? Westworld. Was it Westworld? Um, which is like augmented reality simulation and this is probably an enclosure for something which might be why we see the spino uh in a similar environment um interesting thing to note is we have this t-rex now the t-rex is in this redwood kind of area a bit like lost world so if it is isla sauna maybe it is that like we're on a part of isla sauna i feel like it's either being confirmed or denied at this point i can't remember either way uh, this seems to be where the T-Rex is, uh, in its own enclosure. Now, that looks like the saber tooth cat. And I'm just trying to see, what do we see? Is that fire? It is fire. So they, they're at night in the desert, go around with a the fire. They catch the attention of a saber tooth cat. Um, and this is them trying to fix the bird. Gets his foot. Yeah, and that's obviously the saber tooth cat chasing after him. And then here is another shot of the T-Rex. So these drones we have seen with Mandacorp Corp before. And I think this is how they are leading the T-Rex. So they're, they're all surrounding this T-Rex and they end up leading it to the Kentrosaur or whatever you want to call it. But this T-Rex is not the T-Rex we know because it looks different. It's actually got a really subdued blue hue to it. It's also been in more battles than it knows. I mean, that's a claw maybe from a... Sabretooth cat or maybe even Spino? It's interesting because it looks like a skin from Jurassic World Evolution, the first one, which is so odd. So like these drones are leading it somewhere. Um, and then you've got this biome that is like frosted, like icy. And then you've got this uh, AI dog, which is, it's so out there and bonkers. And you can see its leg here was, you know, that that's what they discovered when they brushed the sand off it. It's that same leg. Um, and then there's a saber-toothed cat, uh, or saber-toothed tiger, or smiled or whatever you want to call it, out in the desert. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm really trying to figure out how this all comes together. So they find the Kentrosaur out in the Arctic, um, and they're pursued by the this cyber dog that gets pushed through the ice and possibly dies down in there. So we have the Kentrosaur, or maybe it's not a Kentrosaur. What is this? This is a weird weird uh, dinosaur isn't it but now it's not in the snow it's out here in this facility and again you've got the drones above it and you've got the drones above the t-rex so they're kind of like forcing them to fight uh for some sort of study i assume um and judging by the the battle scores scars already on the t-rex kind of shows that yeah that's that's what they've done in the past to this t-rex and they're making it fight against this oh look at that now that's a stretched mouth if I've ever seen one. And then you have the reveal of the Spinosaur in the desert. So this could come at the start. It's not in the evening, which is when, um, you know, I'm just wondering how they get away from it. Unless the T-Rex fights it here and then survives, but it still has wounds. And then this other facility, which was what we already saw uh, the T-Rex being in front of. I'm pretty sure that facility and that facility seemed to be in a similar location. I'm intrigued, I will admit, but that's not all we've got to share. No, now we're going to get into some spoilers that aren't in any um, 
sort of trailers or uh, footage. They are screenshots that have floated around through various websites and promotions and stuff like that. So if you don't want to see that, you can click off. You got, you're okay. You can click off. Also, hoodies! First ever time I think I've put the Beat Game Beaver logo on it. On a hoodie or a bit of merchandise. So you go pick them in the link in the description below. And you too could be a pink soldier. So here is the first, well, official spoiler, I guess we could say. Uh, and I don't, I have no idea where this came from. Uh, somebody posted it, I think it was on Twitter. Um, and it shows a Sinospinosaurus. I want to call it a Sinospino, but it's it's obviously like a, a Sinoceratops. And then it has the uh, spine on the back of it, which is obviously a Spinosaurus. And we've seen Spinosaurus in this place. Now, it's interesting to note that we haven't seen any uh, Sinoceratops, but this is very clearly a Sinoceratops. And what I can also assume is a ploy to get people to buy more merchandise, because they didn't know when Cramp Cretaceous, or C Cramp, when Camp Cretaceous came out the fir or first season, how popular it would be. And I think it was very popular, judging by all these sequels coming out in quick succession. So now that they had Bumpy, you know, grow up, it's like, oh, well, we can't really sell Bumpy anymore. This is it. This is what Disney's Porgs, whatever they're called. This is the Camp Cretaceous, what they want to sell as a plushie or something like that. Maybe before Christmas, we'll, we'll see. Or at least before Dominion, because Dominion will be the final push for like big adverts and stuff like that. They have this Spino DNA, obviously, and I'm assuming this is Manticorp, whatever it was called. But there's the Sinoceratops DNA is interesting because then they would, have, would yeah, they would have had to have stolen it from Camp, uh, Isla Nublar. And I think quite early on in a season, we saw um, one of the characters, the one who was known to be a spy, sorry, I don't remember their names, get some saliva for or from a Sinoceratops. And she was working for Manticorp at the time. Now, whether or not she actually gave that sample to a drone and then it flew off to this island not too far away, could be how this Sino Spino managed to come into being. But Onto the most latest news. I mean, we are two days away, and so far, every day is like more, more like footage, uh, screenshots come out, and everything. Are you ready? Hold on to your butts, because it's about to get wild. And here we have it. We can see our, well, two of our main characters running away from Dilopha freaking Saurus. That is right. It's here. It's, it, it's the first time we've seen it in any sort of uh, like medias and footage, or, you know, maybe canon stuff. Apart from, you know, Jurassic World, it was a hologram. Jurassic Media, since the first movie, and we have not one, which you can see quite clearly here, which is showcasing that iconic frill. And I think to me even says more to, you know, we'll see Dilophosaurus in Dominion. But there is a second one hidden behind the logo there. And interesting things to note is that we have a wooden panel that's obviously ripped off something. Uh, it could be planks of wood put together or a thin whatever. And they obviously know that these Dilophosauruses spit um, because they've held up these shields and have protected themselves, which Dennis Nedry didn't do. And he was like three, four times their age and has de they have defended themselves from the venomous and para paralyzing spit, we could, we could say. And uh, Kenji's also got one here, which is kind of obscure. But another weird thing is that we have these like shopping bags. So I think, well, they, they, they've went to get some perfume, some shoes, God knows one, you know, it's a trip to the mall and they're, oh, some Dilophosaurus, ah, Black Friday and ah. There you have it. I mean, not, we have Spinosaurus, we have Smilodon, we have uh, Spino Sino, we have Dilophosaurus, the Mosasaur makes a little appearance. We have, you know, uh, a T-Rex, and that's not the T-Rex we know. We have um, the Kenrosaur thing. We have so many things going on, and I re they haven't really showed, like, like, spoiled the story per se, just that they get on this island, some weird things are happening. It's kind of hinting towards Mandacorp because they were the only ones that we saw use drones. And they can obviously send their drones from this island to Isla Nublar. Hence the reason why we saw a drone on Isla Nublar. And maybe they could, they're controlling the dinosaurs. Maybe that because there was always this thread in Jurassic World where if they could militarize dinosaurs and control them, that would be amazing. So maybe instead of in InGen doing it, it's this new team, Manticorp, which was, you know, a bit like Biosyn in the original. This is the rival group 
to them. So I'm looking forward to it. Two days, uh, we will do a watch party. Um, I'll obviously set a reminder. So if you want to, you know, watch it with me, which is so good, um, I will be sat there for, I don't know, is it two hours, three hours? I don't know. Those are the ones on the channel. You can see how much time you'll need. And if you miss the live stream, don't worry, I'll put it up. It won't be like a members only. You'll be able to watch it in your own spare time. So if you're hyped for Cap Cretaceous, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.